guys, I've been popping into Dollar Trees over the last couple of weeks and picking up a few things here and there, and I just wanted to share those things with you. I picked up some socks for my mother-in-law. She apparently is used to wearing these, and the sock monster has been busy at her house. And um, I thought these looked really comfortable, so I picked her up these. I don't know if they will be rejected or not. Um, I don't and think I have. I started to say flavor. I don't think I have this scent. Um, Ocean Paradise. I really like it. I mean, I had decided that I was just going to stick with just lavender, and lavender was my favorite, but I really like this one. And it was the 30% more. I don't even buy the smaller ones anymore. And I got these to, I want to try to make um, a jelly plate, and I was trying to come up with a, a good Dollar Tree brayer. Try to see if I could come up with something, maybe some felt and that. Beautiful, beautiful napkins with the magnolias. Those are gorgeous. Um, I got those for my mom. I have some. I already got a pack for myself another day. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hello. My rat terrier is under my desk in a little bed snoring. They had some new planner stuff. Not Jot brand. This is actually, I restrained myself. This is all I got was this post-it. the brand name. And it feels like a good quality post-it. It doesn't have that, you know, sometimes they have sticky residue left over. See how sticky it feels. Yeah, this, these feel like good post-its and they're really cute. I tend to overlook the pads with the ribbon, but look at that. And they had polka dots and they had, um, all kinds of other um, patterns, but I love this. This reminds me of the 70s. It reminds me of Rhoda. Um, also now, since I watch Crafty Girl and she has um, dubbed this like a Golden Girls type theme, now it makes me think of that. Um, but Rhoda always had plants in her <laughs> apartment, so... If they were spider, what are they called? Spider plants? I'd be even more excited. But I like the palms too. I thought that was really pretty. And also, look at this one. Little flamingos. I love flamingos this time of year. And my aunt, she loves them all times of year. She just loves flamingos. Um, this actually makes me think of Three's Company, which I know is a really goofy TV show, but for some reason, it's kind of like a little bit of one of my comfort TV shows, <laughs> and they're located in California, and just at the beginning of one of the seasons, I think they show flamingos, so liked finding that, um, because actually I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but look at how cool this is. It's got an outside pocket. I don't have a plan except for maybe, <clears throat> I thought this might be good for coupons because it's see-through, so like it helps you remember what coupons you have, but it's the traditional, you know, I love these zipper pouches, um, the big ones. I have so many of those and I use them for so many different things. One thing I use them for is when I'm gathering things together for a planner spread, I'll put them all in there and like I have a little piece of paper that says planner spread stuck in there. I was trying to see where it was. I'll show it to you. It's empty right now because I did my little planner spread. See how the, this is just a piece of paper that I printed on and put in there. And then whenever I have things that I think would look good for my spread, I gather them together and I put them in here. And then when I finally have time to do my spread, I can just grab it. Um, I didn't do a video on my Star Wars planner spread because I didn't like how it turned out. But um, I'll just give you a glimpse of it. I took um, some pages from a Star Wars Dollar Tree Star Wars activity book and I ran them through my Xyron sticker maker and I made like made it stick down. I used some holographic tape, Star Wars stickers, and some of the flatback pearl type stickers. Um, one thing I did that I didn't like was I had mixed these and they were also the um, little epoxy dot stickers and that just looked real trashy. 
and I initially had just written on this paper and you couldn't see your appointments and um, then I remembered that I had these little stickers so that made it a lot easier to see so there's my Star Wars um, planner spread little underwhelmed. I was a little disappointed. Um, I have been helping take care of my mother-in-law and she has lots of medicine to keep track of. So, so what we're going to do is I'm going to write down the date and like all the medications and then check them off as she takes them. And then I'll also write it down for her for the days that I'm not helping her. And if she wants to use it fine and if she doesn't, fine, but it'll help keep me on track. And she has a morning pill box, a night pill box, a 3 p.m. pill box. Yeah, so lots to keep up with. I have been resisting these dish drying mats um, ever since I saw them, but they are so pretty and they catch my eye every time. And I thought, why not have a little, you know, brighten my day when I'm having to to wash dishes. Got some colored index cards because I am going to try yet again to get organized. I have been very unorganized for quite a while and um, one of the techniques I like for organizing really well is the sidetracked home executives method which is from the 70s and requires three by five cards. So uh, wish me luck on that. Picked up this lip gloss that I've seen everyone hauling. I am um, I almost didn't see it. It was at one of the front registers and it was down on the very bottom shelf. Just sometimes it's almost like they don't even try to display stuff. Oh my gosh, this smells sounds like smell it. This smells so good. Um I guess it's clear. Pur pearly. That's so cute. And it's kind of glittery. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm glad that I found that. Um, I showed you these in my shop with me. These are post-its and these work really well. Um, I, I think maybe the shape might have something to do with it. You know, there's no corners. To, you know how the corners always, like, kind of come up on a post-it? These don't have that. I really like these. They also came in orange and pink. Um, here's the orange. I figured I would have got the orange. Hello? Okay. Well, alrighty. So, uh, that was my mom. Um, I actually buy these little Dons, uh, at Dollar Tree instead of at Walmart because they actually, ounce for ounce, seems to be a better deal. I'm not great at coupons, so, um, got actually three of them. One of them's already in the kitchen. This is what I was telling you about in my shop with me. I got this out of the cosmetic section um, at Dollar Tree, and the reason I got it is I, ever since I first saw this, I thought there's probably some way to turn this into a brayer, but I don't know. Um, like it's got all those little pointy things. I, mean, I could try to cut them off, but I don't think I could get it smooth enough. Um, I'm wondering if I could try to cut them off and then like, I don't know, wrap something around it. Foam or air dry clay. That might be too hard. And it's like a brayer is supposed to be kind of hard, but not super hard, I think. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what I, I may, depending on what happens with these, I don't know. We'll just see. I really, really, really love this lip gloss. 
so I picked up another one of those. Um, I'm wondering if I should exchange it though, because when I got it home it was like that. So I don't know if that happened after I bought it. A dual a Garfield stuff. I was so happy to see this. I also almost missed all of this stuff um, because it was down real low. I'm going to put this one in my cousin's stocking. We grew up in the 80s and uh, Garfield was very big. I actually used to draw Garfield. I don't know if I still could or not. Um, I really like that one. And then there's a couple of um, list pads. This is the first one. And that's really cute that he's like holding the list. And then this one actually is my favorite because it's so clever that they called it a scratch pad. I've gotten this before and this is um, Tasty Sauce. Um, and I don't think it has anything bad in it. It's got tomato puree, salt, extra virgin olive oil, spices, dried garlic, and dried onion. And the expiration date is March of 2020. Um, we've used this on the pizza crust they have at Dollar Tree. And the pizza crust is good too, by the way. And we've also used it in pasta. Um, I saw this little can of salmon. I thought that was a good deal for a dollar. Expiration date is fine. And then I was really surprised to see they had Sprouts boxed scoops for one dollar. So I'm going to try this. It might be, if it's a little spicy, for me and my husband, I might have to cut it with something else. And then um, I really like tomato bisque soup, um, but I only got one just because I actually already have several tomato soups. I got this for a DIY. I thought I might try to make a fun piece of decor out of it. And I got this little um, net for also for another decoration that I want to try to make. Um, when I was a kid, I had a kind of like an ocean theme at one point and I had a big shell hung up in, I mean big shell, a big net hung up in my room with, I think I had shells in it and stuff, and uh, so I want to do like a little shadow box with this netting in the back if I find time. I just picked up some glitter. I needed this probably like I needed a hole in the head, but it was so pretty. I just, I couldn't leave it. And I also picked up some nail polish in this very interesting color. I don't know where I laid my reading glasses down and I have my entire haul spread out on my desk so I can't read to see, read it to you what it says, um, but if I remember correctly it's some kind of a green. And then I thought these would be really great in my planner. And ditto. Also. Um, my mom was sending out cards to people and I thought she could use these if she ran out, but um, I just thought that was really pretty. They had some other stationery that kind of went along with that, but I didn't get those items. Um, and this, I feel like I already have this, but I wasn't sure, so I picked it up because I never ever ever see stamps. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this. These are adhesive diamond wrap. It's like a whole sheet. And I hauled some last year in like a blue color. And uh, one thing I noticed is you have to kind of look it over because sometimes there'll be stones missing. But I as yet have not done anything with that diamond wrap. It's over there. Um, I got some foam sheets that have little... Um, different kind of like embossed patterns on them. Um, at the time, I didn't realize that Dollar Tree carries also plain foam, which I've since then seen, but I didn't get because one of the sheets in here is not embossed. This one is plain. So my plan for this foam was to try putting it on, you know, this roller or the massage roller. 
um, to see if I could make kind of like a brayer. And then also the embossed ones, maybe using those with a jelly plate to create little patterns in my prints. And I thought these file folders were beautiful. They're just tab file folders. Isn't that beautiful? Um, and then I also got some storage bags. These are the large size. Um, I really, these are very helpful when you're trying to organize things. This is one of the gift bags I alluded to in the shop with me. Isn't that pretty? That is so beautiful. Okay, I got these bags I've seen everyone hauling and they are really cute but um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. It was a case of monkey see monkey do. I just thought I had to get them because everyone else was getting them. I got some wall stickers that I really like. Dream it, wish it, do it. I like this one too. You don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And then this is um, not really the right time of year, but I thought that was very pretty and that I might save it to do something with in the fall. And then this one I'm absolutely crazy about. I could not believe it when I saw this one. Look at this. And it's two sides. Oh my gosh, so, so beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they're not so big that you can't, like, use them in your planner or something. So, really excited about those. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I don't, I'm not a fan of the glitter. But I thought maybe I could do something on the other side because it's a B, right? I had to get it. So I actually got two of these, um, and I thought maybe my mom and I could do them together. I got also a hot air balloon, which I think was the other brand. This one's the Crayola, and I did get this. I saw this in the shop with me, and I thought that I had gotten it, but I had put it to one side until I could do my haul video. I think this paper is so pretty. These colors, these colors are so beautiful. It's just a polka dot, and and it's different, you know, it's three different sets of pages. I thought this was really cute. Yes, you can. And um, it's Jot Brand Journal. And um, it's kind of, it's, you know, it's a paperback. But look, it's completely unruled, and half of the pages are white, and half are craft. I was intrigued by that. And I don't know yet what I'm going to do with it, but um, I thought it might be a good book for oh, bullet journaling, or the Yes You Can made me want to somehow try to use it for... Like, um, I've been wanting to start an exercise regimen and eating plan, and I thought, you know, that's encouraging, so maybe I will track it in there. And then I saw this, which I thought was, they had different covers, um, but what intrigued me about this, look at the bottom. What I like about this is whenever I make a phone call, or, you know, talk to someone, um, I make notes, right? Well, at the bottom, you can circle the month and the day, um, so you can keep track of what day you made your phone call or whatever. Scarves, and these are good for tying on purses, tying in your hair, you can wear them around your neck. Got the anchor. Love this one, the pineapple with the stripes. This one reminds me of my happy planner because it has stripes. <laughs> and then da -da -da, the palm leaves, very 70s, very 
as Crafty Girl would say, Golden Girls. And it is a flag banner that is not plastic. It it's only nine feet. Let's see the picture. Um, it's on jute cord. I'm just gonna it's, open it. It's almost like I don't know what kind of material this is like. Well, this one looks kind of burlappy, actually. Look, it's even nubby on the back. So the stripe section is kind of like burlap. This one is more like a thin, stiff cotton. And you can move them up and down on the string, you know, depending on how close or how far apart you want them. But they're not this, uh, it's a little bit stiff, but not completely stiff. So, there you go. And uh, because I didn't see these last year, I went ahead and got three of them. I love 4th of July decorations. So to find this, I was so excited. Um, I would love to have a house that had like a front porch where I could put swags, you know, across. You know what I'm talking about, the buntings. Um, or to have a picket fence that I could do that on. And a picket fence is maybe something I might could do at my house. Um, but anyway, I got these little foam stickers. I, I was interested in these um, as it relates to the jelly plate. I thought maybe I could stick these on something and it would almost be like a stamp um, to make an impression of the shape. Um, what do you call them? Bottles? Faces? I wish I had gotten three though. I only got two and I also I couldn't decide on the color. So I got one green and one blue. But I would kind of like to um, take these and fasten them to a piece of wood. Three of them. And um, like put flowers in them. I think that'd be really pretty. And speaking of 4th of July decor, I found some really cute napkins. They had different ones. And this is the kind I picked. I'm not going to use these as napkins though. I'm going to use these, um, well, I mean, I may use some as napkins, but I want to try to make cards. Um, Gift Basket Appeal does lots of videos where she makes um, greeting cards with uh, napkins. And I've been wanting to try that forever. And I just haven't gotten around to it. I got some sticky notes in the shape of a butterfly. Let's see real quick if these are good, nice, yeah. You know what, I think that the post-it notes from Dollar Tree may be better than the post-it notes from Target. Dollar Spot, I think. And I was so excited to find some new washi. This one. all-time favorite this one. musical notes with little French words oh, got this for my niece again cactus theme I got some of these to use in my planner I got another craft to do with with my mom you paint it and then you put it together and it's a chime that'll be fun she likes to paint and then I also got these um, Plastic rubbing plates, they're called. You know what I just realized? Each one of these packages comes with two rubbing plates. So I got flowers. I love sunflowers. I got leaves. Oh my gosh. Okay, so on the flower one, the front one is a sunflower. The back one is what looks more like a tropical flower. This Leave this kind of leaves on this side and on the back side. Check it out, oak leaves. Here's the other thing I got. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, these are supposed to be for making rubbings, as you can see right there. Um, but I was intrigued by the fact that they are very slightly concave, to where someone could possibly put some clay in there. Um, make an impression. 
So what I was thinking is that I might, um, when I was a teenager, I used to get junk mail and I would cut, cut it up real small, soak it, and then put it in the blender and that would make shapes out of it. I made hair barrettes, all kinds of stuff. And, um, I was kind of wondering if I could maybe get some of that paper pulp and squish it into these things and make little like paper shapes. I have no idea if it's going to work. That's half the fun. But if it did work, or I could use that paper clay, um, I might could make some little wall art that was sort of like the uh, Pottery Barn stuff that I saw that was so pretty but so expensive. And then, um, you know, even if I just do use this as a rubbing, how cool would that be on a planner page in the fall? So, really excited about all the possibilities of what I might can do with those plastic rubbing plates. Again, uh, I think I was thinking crafts and planner, not necessarily using this for what it was intended for, but this has completely adorable little pigs and wolf, and then I don't have my glasses on. Oh, here's my glasses. You can hear the mess. Oh my God, God, this is insane. This big mound of stuff on my desk under my tripod. Okay, so you can see like a, this one is the, it's called the uh, fairy tale stencils. And it has, um, oh here, let's just open it. You get eight different stencil sheets and three assorted markers. You can actually see them all at a glance right here. So it's got um, one that looks kind of Tinkerbellish, um, ducks, I guess that'd be the little ugly duckling, one that looks kind of like Cinderella, or two actually maybe. Um, actually this one kind of makes me think of that poem, The Lady of Shalott. It comes with three little markers, so that was the fairy tale one, and this one is the woodland animals. These are the color markers you get with the woodland animals. And, oh, yeah, that's going to be fun. Okay. Some more napkins to uh, hopefully do some um, greeting cards. And I found a new stencil. Um, this one is tropical. I'm not sure if you can see. But that's, it's got a palm tree. It's got some shells. It's got a sailboat. A lighthouse, uh, a dolphin, and an I am so excited about this next item. This is similar to another spiral they put out. It, they came out in February and they said, like, be brave and different things on them. So it's a hard bag. And I love this um, plaid mixed with this kind of boho. I was trying to get it open because it's nice. It's nice and thick. And look how this um, embellishment is raised. And ruled pages. I just love these. And then this one, it has the same plaid at the bottom, but a different boho style at the top. Think happy thoughts. So I'm so happy to see that they're continuing to make this quality of these spirals and these cute designs. So I'm very happy about that.